Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 24, and this is war number 6. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance called Nedavaliers Finest. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Uh, apologies if I did not. But we are going to scout out my paths right now together. All right? So let's go ahead and spectate. And I promised you guys that I would do this with you uh, in a future video. And this is the one. All right. So first off, I noticed that they have not placed a defender on that first node. So that means I'm only going to fight one fight. So I'm going to look up here and I see there's a Sasquatch. And I also see that there is a Havoc. Now I normally bring in a Warlock, right? So that's not a problem. Uh, my Warlock should be able to take care of Havoc without any difficulty. Uh, now the Sasquatch, my Warlock should be able to handle Sasquatch as well. All right, so uh, I'm already thinking that I will come in here. If I have enough energy, I should be able to go ahead and take Havoc and Sasquatch. All right. Then we've got that Domino down there. My... Warlock could take her. It depends on what uh, what he's looking like afterwards. Okay. Backup recovery. Yeah. So he could take uh, that domino. Now, I also see here Korg on Mixmaster. That is Omega, my Omega Red. So if they call upon me to do that fight, I want to bring Omega. So that's Warlock and Omega for that guy if needed, okay? And you already know who my third one is, and all I do now is look here. All right, so hit monkey. It just depends on what I look like after the first path uh, in section one, and mix master, Korg, he may wreck me. I may not have my Omega Red, uh, but on my path, I take three uh, in section two, I noticed that there is a guillotine. Well, my Black Widow Clairvoyant should be able to handle that fight without too much difficulty. Same thing with this Ultron here. Should not have too much of a problem. Now, this uh, Iceman, uh, if my Warlock is uh, in good health, I should be able to take that Iceman as well. Oh, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, I just was in AQ, so that means that they just uh, cleared me. Anyway, so then I look over here at Mini Boss Island. And again, if my Warlock is healthy, I might be able to take that um, man thing. Also, Black Widow Clairvoyant can take that fight as well. Um, I don't really like the uh, reflective stun node. Let me see. This one here. Uh, stunning Reflection. I don't like it. Uh, I can do it. But if called on, I will. Uh, and then up the left, we've got a Nihilist. Nobody likes fighting a Nihilist. But my Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that uh, fight. Um, and then we've got a Nick Fury and Doom. And again, it's going to depend on what my champions look like in the end. We try to do item lists as much as possible. Uh, I'm more than willing to um, revive if I need to uh, and use some health potions. But uh, I know that we take a little bit more of a laid back approach to war. So if we do that, it's, it's pretty much on, uh, on us. They don't really ask us uh, to uh, do that. All right. So I don't know how much energy. Let me see. Yeah, I can't tell how much energy I have right now. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go on in. So my standard team here, I got to change out Nick Fury, uh, even though he would also uh, work and bring in Omega Red just in case I'm needed for that Korg. Other than that, um, the other two should be okay. All right, so then we'll go on in here. All right, so I've got max energy. So let's go ahead and use that energy up. 
and then I'll get into uh, AQ uh, when I'm done with uh, this path here. All right, so we got aggression armor, enhanced armor up. So you wanna be aggressive, okay? Um, the defense tactic protect and all that good stuff. I don't really worry about that. And because Warlock uh, gets an armor up, he's perfect for fighting Havoc. And I forgot to boost up. Not that it makes a really big difference, but there's no reason not to boost up. Except I forget. Okay. Okay. Clear that. Get him with that special two. Okay. A lot of people just block those. Hit him with a heavy. Hit him with another heavy. Got his power under control. Hit him with another heavy. Okay, I blocked the first one that time, but he's down. All right, so that is the only fight on my path. Let's see. And because Kabam has removed all the links, I don't have to wait. So we've got Strike Counter, Fury, and Power Drain, all that good stuff. All right, so I am going to boost up, even though it's just this one fight, because uh, I get these regularly. All right, let's uh, see if we can get this Sasquatch down. Uh, the idea is to get that infection, keep that infection on him. Okay. All right. Switch to another special two. Man. All right. He's in that wrath phase. We got hit accidentally, uh, caught me sleeping. But what I was trying to do is I was cycling his uh, special twos. Um, those are much easier. And uh, I like to evade those uh, when he has that wrath. So it was good for me to uh, keep pushing him to a special two. Uh, that special one has a chance to stun. And when he's in wrath, it's going to stun you. Okay, so that was that portion and i'll be back i'll probably uh do the next part a little bit differently so i can focus on the fight rather than doing a live commentary like i'm doing right now all right so uh i'll be back for the rest of my path and possibly uh these next couple of fights here all right so i'm back and i did not have to fight those 
uh, next fights there that you saw earlier. So we are clear to go to section two. Now in section two, path three, I have this guillotine and I always hate fighting guillotine. She's a little bit tricky. I know how to fight her. She shouldn't be a problem on this node, but she is a little tricky to fight. So I went ahead and uh, popped in a 15% boost. Uh, there's no reason not to. I have so many of them and I get them in uh, regularly. So the first thing I want to do is fire off a heavy attack. Knock her down. Put that Digicloak on cooldown. Okay. Then I'm just going in. All right. And I'm watching that timer. All right. So she hits me with a special one which drains your power regardless of whether you evaded it or blocked it. So annoying. All right, so I try to push it to a special two and just keep that Digicloak on cooldown. And you can see I'm doing quite a bit of damage to her. Uh, Digicloak is not on cooldown right now. So I parry, hit a heavy, it's on cooldown. She counters with a special one. I don't care because I wasn't planning on hitting her with a special. All right, and then I go in to finish it. Finish it with a special. All right, so that is guillotine down not too difficult but still not a fight that i i absolutely enjoy now this guy here is he shouldn't be too difficult ultron the uh classic version is predictable when he evades that other ultron i don't like that other ultron don't like him at all. He evades whenever he feels like it. Uh, but this Ultron here, you can predict his evade. So like right here, I know he's going to evade after he fires that special. Okay? So I want to bait out the special, attack once, and dash back. And you see he evaded. So I did not try to do a five-hit combo on this Ultron. All right? And now it's on cooldown. So I went ahead and fired off my special two. Okay, again, that one hit after that special, you know, like I say, it's on a timer, so it's predictable. And down he goes. Not too difficult of a fight there. So, so far, I've been doing pretty well in this war. And uh, I'm starting to feel, you know, a little macho. And so, you know, I go ahead to Mini Boss Island, and I waited. I looked around and I said, all right, I can finish off this Annihilus. Uh, and I did discuss that with the officers and they said, go ahead, finish off the Annihilus and then take out as many win uh, minis as you feel comfortable taking out. So Annihilus is normally very difficult to fight. Um, you can do intercepts with certain champions. Uh, or I should say with most champions, but certain champions, it doesn't work too well. So what I'm going to try and do is try to get him to dash at me, not get hit like I just did there. Thankfully, I had that indestructible. That's cool. All right. And then we went in. We had already um, nullified, and it's a mystic. They work very well against Annihilus. So down he went. I didn't have too much... Uh, <laughs> too much to really do there. Uh, most of the work was done. Now, we've got Nick Fury. Nick Fury is always annoying to fight unless he's not awakened. If he's awakened, he's annoying to fight. You got to kill him almost twice. You know, you can let the D-Gen second phase do most of the work, but he can still cause you some pain. All right, so I'm going in here with Omega Red. Didn't have to use him for that Mixmaster Korg. All right, and so what I'm trying to do here is just get those spores on him. So that's why you see me just, you know, trying to wait a little bit. I'm not doing a really good job of it. All right, but we've got some spores on him. And then he's unblockable, but... Uh, he lost the charges in time. I got a little intercept there. 
And what I really want to do is push him to a special two if I can. All right. So far, so good. We're doing okay here. All right. And then fire up that special three. And I really want to try to get him to his second phase uh, as fast as possible. So I fired up the special uh, three. Didn't really need to. Um, honestly, I kind of lost track of my power bar and uh, was at a special three and didn't realize it because I would have rather fired the special two off, get my death field active, and then, uh, you know, keep going in, trying to be as aggressive as possible. All right, so we've got the second phase here, and that counter is one that I learned, you know, to counter his heavy, interrupted, in fact. All right, so here, you see I'm just kind of backing off, letting the D-Gen do most of the work. All right, so now, I just baited out that heavy attack, and there he goes with that special, you know, one again. And here he is very dangerous, because he's doing a lot more damage now that the real Nick Fury's out. So you see I interrupted his heavy, went in for that special two, and we got him down. Yeah, he's tricky to fight. Not one of my favorite fights, but we managed to get him down. And that was really my last fight. Uh, I did not take this Doom. I wasn't confident that I could get a one-shot on this Doom. And if I remember correctly, the war was kind of uh, close here. And so other people came in. They had better counters. I think our backup came in uh, with a counter specifically for Doom. Uh, on that node so we didn't have any difficulty there all right so we'll be back and you'll see how this war ended and we're back and as you can see we won this war and it was a close one as i mentioned 600 points that's not a lot of points but we were able to pull out that victory we are on a winning streak We've only lost the first war of the season. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.